Welcome to our telephone integration video. We are a Microsoft Gold certified partner situated in Graz, Austria and specialize in the development of add-ons for Microsoft Dynamics CRM. With the help of our products, users can extend their CRM functionalities, which results in a more efficient and beneficial use of Microsoft Dynamics CRM. In this video, I will show you the predictive dialer of telephone integration for Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. In general, our telephone integration add-on connects Microsoft Dynamics CRM with various phone systems such as TAPI, OCS, Link and or Skype, as well as with the Microsoft Link Chat. The predictive dialer enables users to automatically or manually dial the numbers of CRM records, for example of accounts, users, etc., which have been attached to the marketing lists of CRM call campaign activities. This enables smoother and more efficient call processes and users are therefore able to perform a large number of calls within less time. In the video I will show you how to create a CRM call campaign activity for the predictive dialer. Furthermore, I will explain you the available predictive dialing lists window as well as the structure and functionalities of the predictive dialing workplace. Please also have a look at our other telephone integration videos on our YouTube channel and on our homepage. You will find the links and more information at the end of this video. Start in the marketing area of your CRM system. Go to the marketing lists and create a list with the records to be called like we did here. Afterwards, go to the campaign area and create a CRM campaign. We already prepared one. Type in a name and save the campaign. Afterwards, go to the target marketing list and add the list you created before. Go to the campaign activities and create a new campaign activity. It is very important to choose the channel phone. Afterwards type in a subject like for example call large retailers. You can also add a description of the call campaign activity. For example this can contain questions to be asked to the call records or a general description like we put it here. Save the campaign activity and go to the target marketing lists. Here choose the list you need. In our case we need the list of the large retailers. Go back to the general area of the campaign activity, save it and distribute it. Type in a subject. Afterwards click on distribute. Here you can determine to whom the campaign activity should be distributed. You can choose a user or even a team. For example, if you want to call send a team to call the records on the list, select it and click on OK. Now you can see the created phone calls. Determine a start and the end date of the campaign activity. After the end date, the users will not be able to call the records on the list again. Scroll down to the predictive dialing options. Click on Active to determine the marketing list as a predictive dialing list and put the name. Furthermore, decide whether to call the records manually or automatically. In case of automatic dialing, set a pre-processing and a post-processing time. Save, close and reopen the campaign activity to see the created phone calls. After a certain refreshing time, you see that you are assigned to the predictive dialing list. Open a TE client menu with the right mouse click and open the predictive dialer. Here you have an overview window with all the lists you are assigned to. You can see details about the campaign activity, as well as the number of all calls, the processed calls, the rescheduled calls and the left calls. Furthermore, you have the option to enlarge the call campaign activity description, like you can see here. Choose one of the lists and click on Start. Now the CRM call window opens with a predictive dialer header at the top. Here you have details about the contact record, the processing phase, as well as about the predictive dialing list. Furthermore, you have the option to pause the pre-processing time and to continue. You also have the campaign description if you want to. If you choose automatic dialing, there will be a countdown in the pre-processing time. After the countdown ends, the call will be initiated automatically. Nevertheless, users always have the possibility to start the call manually like you can see here. During the call, users have the possibility to write down the conversation contents.
Users can stop the call manually. In the post-processing time, there is also a countdown. Users have the possibility to reschedule the call or to mark it as successful or failed. Failed and successful calls will not return in the calling processes again. After the end of the post-processing, the pre-processing of the next record starts. Again, users can start the call manually. They can also write down the conversation contents. Again, users can hang up manually. As mentioned before, failed and successful calls will not return again in the call process. They are marked as processed. If you want to detach from the predictive dialing list, you can do only in pre-processing time. Click on the X to detach. You will be back in the overview window again. If you did not select automatic dialing, the call window will look like the following. It again contains the predictive dialing header with the information about the contacted record, the processing phase and the predictive dialing list. Furthermore, it offers the option to pause and continue during pre-processing. There is no countdown, only a time counting. Users have to start and stop the calls manually. In our case, the contacted record is not available. Therefore, we want to reschedule the call. After hanging up, we have the possibility to reschedule the call, like you can see here. After that, the preprocessing of the next record begins. Again, you have the possibility to detach from the list during preprocessing. You are back in the overview window. Here, for example, you can see that we did not process any calls, but we rescheduled one. So this was it, and thank you for your attention. Please have a look at our contact details. Do not hesitate to contact us should you require further information or our assistance. Please also have a look at our homepage and at our YouTube channel.